Frostwolf though going to get the privilege? Because you know he's so he's so exclusive with who he fights. He gets the privilege of fighting Alex V. This guy's never online. He never fights anybody. Of course, I'm goofing around. Alex V is always around. Alex V will play anybody. You can go ahead, ready up, uh, Frostwolf. If you want, you can also take a break. You don't have to go immediately into it if you don't want to. Uh, remake the lobby. I mean, we'll get kicked out. Damn. I guess it has to happen at least once. My previous times were just, uh, I think it was Xbox Live issues. I wonder if this is uh, Alex's actual pick. Oh, never mind. Okay, then I guess this is Alex's actual. Go. Jago versus Kilgore. I guess he wants to show uh, show Sam Booty how to play this matchup. Although I'll, I'll see if he actually knows how to. He does have time to play around though. Alex definitely has a tendency in this tournament to have fun. Nice duck on there. Evading all these projectiles. Use of the of the uh, the delay tech to not get hit by the overhead. Oh yeah, that is not instant startup. Oh, unfortunate again. Alex V had the right read on that breaker, but was not fast enough. Yeah, like input it during the startup or remove or something. Oh my god, catches it with a wild wind kick. You're gonna get a lot of life back here. Nice block. Ridiculous block. I can't, I, I would have never guessed that was a cross up. Exhaust mix ups. Ooh, went for it. Went for it again. Not quick enough on the punish on the DP. <laughs> just, just unloading hellfire into him. Oh, the range was not good at all for that. Just wants to chip him out. Didn't want to take too much risk there. Alex has a lot of characters. Turns out he's he, it's not just Rash. I'm not saying he plays them at pro levels, but he definitely plays a lot of characters at a high level of competency. And a lot of it is just he's real good at, at catching on player patterns and whatnot. Like half the game you can you already have for any character you pick. Is that it? Oh not quite. <laughs> Went for it. Ooh, nice. That was a ridiculous use of instinct there. Or not ridiculous. It was a really good use of instinct though. To get right through that. And keeping it in his pocket to use it in case he needs to see which way something's coming. I know, uh, going back to that match, I know uh, the, with the double DP, I know I sometimes have trouble also punishing DPs, uh, the the whiff DP into the DP, trying to catch your, uh, your punish there. I'm not sure how many frames he has uh, of punishability. Like once he reaches the ground or uh, whatever. I was trying to look it up, but it does not show you that. Okay, stick him with the Kilgore here. Yeah, just DP right through that. Don't need to do anything. Nice guess. Although I guess light is a pretty good guess whenever he's up in your face. Getting out of the corner. Wind kick though to try to catch a back dash more than likely. 
Alex being incredibly patient here. He can't do Shadow One Kick right now. Kilgore has exhaust. Can't try to punish anything whenever he has exhaust. I cannot believe that just happened. Ooh. Frostwolf big guessing right here. Ooh, block? Wasn't there enough time to get the link there on the live wind kick? That's gonna be it though. Oh, never mind. Not enough. Go probably DP wind kick through this. Killed himself. And that's unfortunate too that he didn't even get any damage off that. But he did stop Alex V from regaining any life off the instinct. So I guess that's kind of a win. Once again, Alex V has ridiculous reads on people. I do not even understand how he does it. Are you kidding me? This man is crazy. Nice check there. I'm afraid your path ends here. <laughs> Just really good timing for Alex there. As I'm saying, he has ridiculous reads to get a second counter breaker in the same combo. It's what he does. He he does it out of love, though, I'm assuming. He wants everyone to get better. Not that he's saying we're crap. He, but there's definitely, like, a skill gap. Not saying for Frostwolf. I definitely believe Frostwolf can uh, do this. I think Arya might be the call, though. The Kilgore does not seem to be working out. He might have a lot of confidence in it, though, from the previous match with Sam Booty. Well... Uh, Sam Booty admittedly did not have much ma matchup experience with that. Yeah, that's a, a the second counterbreaker is a rare call. You only want to do that once in a blue moon. But I, I think uh, Frostwolf might have had a readable amount of frustration. Game crashed. Oh my god. This game. Well, the lobby should be up the same. You should be able to join on me. Yeah, that's that's how that happens. Frostwolf wins the entire tournament now because of KI crashed for Alec. Go wait for her. No, he doesn't get a point. I know you're using the cap of face. But I don't know. My TO instincts kicked in. I was like, no, that's not right. I actually don't have any formal rules about uh, disconnection. Obviously, if it's before a match, nothing's going to happen. Nothing happened. It doesn't matter. I just try, kind of play them by ears, mostly just because KI's disconnections can be so, like, particular, like... Yeah, they're house rules, it's whatever I call it by. Also, I mean, I think another important factor in that is that this, this tournament has no stakes besides, like... I guess you're seeding in the next Ultra Fine Atomic Weekly. That's like the only thing that's on uh, <laughs> that you're risking at the moment. So like it doesn't matter ultimately. Going back to Final Destination here. I guess with names. And put the thing back up there. I gotta do all of it. Now, I didn't even, you know what? I didn't even do this stuff either. Okay, getting that Aria pressure. Deeping right in though. The dash pressure is not safe, I'm sure. That didn't hit him. I know he's invincible, but still. I didn't think he was that invincible. Ooh, no shadow counter. A little late on the shadow counter. About about like a full second too late. <laughs> Fight. 
Okay, we're trying to bait something here. Going to have to eat this pressure here. Oh no. That is really hard to try to confirm off of though. Those, those drones are quite fast. DP out. Heavy kick out. Okay. Frostwolf being a little more peckish with the combo breakers. Trying to tag on some extra damage there, but uh, not quick enough. Nice blocks here until he gets opened up. Ryan. Ooh, faked him out. Try to get out of the range of the shadow wing or the wind kick, just normal one. There we go. There's a shadow counter on that forward heavy kick. Okay, we get the first life bar. This is definitely still doable. It's gonna be rough though. I try to jab punish that. Oh no. There goes Blade Body. It's gone. There's no chance. Getting a little bit of meter refunded from that combo. This is gonna be rough. Her fireballs do beat Jago's fireballs. That was the deepest DP I've ever seen in my life. Oh, and there we go. Not Alex V taking it with Jago. This is the second Jago victory in a row. Why are there so many Jagos? All right, that is the end of this tournament. Alex V wins again. Who would have thought? And, you know, you're just nervous because of all the prestige here of uh, of the uh, the ultra fine comic weekly in uh, it is no problem. I have fun running it every single time that we get to do it. And it's just, it's a blast. But once again, <laughs> uh, once again, uh, this is the Ultra Fighter Topic Weekly. It comes every Wednesday. Just think of it as an opportunity to play Ki every single. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna keep running it as six for the time coming. That seems to be better for people. There was only one person whenever I put a poll up that said that they took advantage of the 9 p.m. time. So I'll probably go keep running it at 6. So I hope to see everyone here next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. And for now, I'm going to send you all to Aphex. Because I like to send some love to a guy. But uh, I will see you all next week. Have fun. Thank you for following Daring. And bye.